what inspired you to get into photography? Well, I've got workers at Turnham Point and I bought a transition with that is. And I heard about the course coming up in there and I just put my name forward. I didn't know if I would like it or not. But I did a bit of photography before and we got in here and enjoyed it. <laughs> Has it helped you express yourself? Definitely. Uh, what would you like to achieve? Uh, you know, in terms of the photography, I would like to go uh, to college or something to further the on a bit, and get higher and more photography. So do you feel that this organisation has actually helped you on your journey towards that? Definitely. If it wasn't for this organisation, I wouldn't be trying to go further than college. Would you like to continue doing the photography? I think you've kind of answered that. Anyway. Yes. Would you like to continue doing the photography? Yes, definitely. Well, what inspires me is my my daughter. She's over there. <laughs> yeah, she inspires me so much. She she's so creative, and everything I do is for her. Does it help you to express yourself? Yes, it does. Photography, it's so beautiful. I mean, everybody has their own way how to look into photography. And for me, really, you're right. Um, photography is some, something like, you know, like to, like it expresses how you feel at the moment. And you cannot lie about photos, to be honest. Whether you're happy or sad, you could actually tell if a person's happy or sad at the moment. Um, what would you like to achieve in terms of photography? Um, to be honest, I'm only doing this one for a for a hobby. But I'm getting offers from like people that I know that if I would like to take their photos and things like that. I don't know how what's gonna happen after this. I'm just doing it for fun and because I really love as well, as, you know, taking pictures of people in nature. So we'll see. Do <laughs> you feel that this organization helps you on your journey? Yes, it does. It helps me. It helps me so much to be. Um, you know, like gain my self confidence and to be a like a self actualized person. Yes. I think I will. Definitely, yes. <laughs> um, I used to go on a lot of holidays up the Highlands and I just like taking photos. So I ended up deciding that I was going to go on a photography course and the course came up, so I took it. Uh, it has actually. Uh, it's helped me open up a bit more with creative writing when I've been writing about my photos and what I've been doing. So, so yeah, it has definitely helped me open up and be a bit more creative. And do you feel like this organisation has helped you on the journey? Definitely. Uh, if I hadn't been for the college and the opportunity that I've had, I definitely wouldn't have probably done this at all. So yeah, definitely it was an opportunity. And would you like to continue straight away? Uh, I've actually applied for the higher course, so yeah, I'm going to keep going on. Who or what inspired me to get into photography? Christmas, New Year time, I just discovered that I woke up one morning and wanted to take up photography, and I got the opportunity to do it, and it happened now. Right? And has it helped you to express yourself? Most definitely, aye. aye. And what do you, would you like to achieve in terms of uh, photography? Uh, no, I, not to take it just as a hobby, but to take more of, more interest and make it really an, an interesting hobby. Do you feel like this organisation has helped you on your journey? Again, definitely, aye. Aye, because without them, I wouldn't have got the chance to take a course. Aye. So you, would you like to continue doing photography? Yep, yep. I do, I do plan on following it all up. I, yep, yep, yep. Uh, well, I used to take a lot of selfies and stuff. I realised I was quite good at taking them, so I thought, why not try and do other things to do with photography and take more wide shots and different sort of shots. So when I was in like, I applied for a college course, first of all, I went there and the guy said to me, uh, 
these are just these are just selfies. Uh, we just made you call a different photography course, a special one where they train you on the basics. So my key worker at Access to Industry, Erin, sent me to that one, and that's how I really got an interest. Yes, it, it helped me find something I'm really good at. Because like, I wasn't that good in school and stuff. So it helped me find something interesting to find. And what would you like to achieve in terms of photography? What would I like to achieve? Yes. I want people to buy my photos on this. You'd like to do a commercial photography? Yeah, I need some money. And do you feel that this organisation has helped you on your journey? Uh, I hope Erin doesn't see this because she'll, because I'll be embarrassed. But Erin's really helped me, like, she's really brought me to being who I am because before I wasn't really confident in doing anything, but now there's a total new me and I'm just so grateful, like, for everything, like, that all this organisation has done. Well, if the course is finished after this, so I'm going to have to find a new photographer course. I might go to college and do it. Listen, thank you very much for your time. Oh, you're very welcome. He's chosen all sorts of different things from what he was asked to do that he's gone out and looked for. And um, that was not something he was doing before, particularly. So his powers of observation, definitely, and he's um, looked at things in a different way and helped him, it's helped him express himself. And do you think that that has given him confidence to pursue perhaps a career in photography? It's, actually, it's certainly given him confidence. Whether he'll pursue a career in photography, that'll be up to him. But yes, he's definitely increased in confidence. Do you feel like this organisation has helped him in his journey? Oh, yes, yes. He's really in, related to everybody. Everybody's supported him and his particular needs and um, they've encouraged him in everything that he's wanted to do and enabled him to do it, uh, with not just with equipment, but with attitude as well, which is so important. I think it's fantastic, you know, everything coming together. I kind of like the idea of all the images being on the wall together. You know, it's quite powerful just walking down, you know, towards it and just seeing all these, you know, images together, so nicely framed, so nicely mounted, and everybody collaborating to create something that was, that's really quite good to see. Actually, I think they all work really well together. Um, one in particular was a black and white one. Um, by a um, SPH. Um, I, I quite like my black and white photography, but that doesn't take away from anything everybody else did. That was my personal favourite, but the more I look at it, the more they all kind of stand out, the more I take from each individual piece. So you can spend a long time just there, you know, finding new things from every photograph, so it's a brilliant job. Uh, I just generally think that it's uh, such a great opportunity for people to have um, to have a chance to actually uh, take a part in such a great course. I think it's um, uh, it can boost their confidence, and photography is um, uh, is such an interesting way in which we can actually express uh, our feelings, our emotions, our mood, or anything like that. And if people can actually have a chance to do that type of things and uh, have an opportunity to learn a bit more about the digital world, I would say then. Uh, that's great, you know. I think it's um, uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing how they can, how much they can actually achieve in uh, half year time. It's amazing how um, uh, what a great photo they can do in just such a short period of time. And welcome to our photographic exhibition of 2018. This is the fourth year we've run this exhibition with. In collaboration with Edinburgh College. It's co-located, or it has been co-located in the past, both in Slight Hill and with Edinburgh, in our own campus, County College at 156 County. This year was the first time that we've delivered it all from the County Centre. And I think 
The students have done an absolute fantastic job. He's worked superbly hard over this since January. I think he's culminated in delivering four outcomes and four qualifications, which is incredible. And the work that's gone into it, both during your time in class and out and about yourselves, is really credit to yourselves for what amazing pictures we have on the wall. I think we just want to say thank you to Edinburgh College as well for your continued support and for allowing us to have these amazing pictures on phone board today and really showing how creative all of our students are and the work that's gone into it. We have two pictures from each student on the wall and um, I want you all to enjoy yourself. There's some juice and nibbles and water so help yourselves and take time looking at all your work and giving yourselves a big pat on the back and a huge congratulations. So well done. It's a real pleasure to be here and to see the standard of the work again. I keep thinking people can't top it and they do. We always think there's a photographer in each of us. I mean, I come along and I look at an exhibition like this and I think, wow, somebody really unlocked some doors here. We're incredibly proud of our association with this course and the success that people who've done the course have been on. You can see the journey behind me of how they've achieved so very much. We're very proud of you. Very proud of our colleague Alan, who has guided you through this, and I know he's enjoyed every minute of it as well. So again, well done. We're delighted to be here, and I'm really looking forward to chatting to people. So thank you very much. This is my colleague Jennifer, without whom I could not have done so well in the course. She's been like a watches my back every time when I forget to bring something or get paperwork or the cameras charged or computers ready and things like that. And without it, I couldn't have delivered the standard of uh, service I could to you guys in your off. Um, again, I'm proud of you all. You know this. I've spoken to you all. I know you all. And I've seen you develop from people that take snaps to people that take photographs. And uh, some of you, I think, are going to have a really nice future with photography. And even if you don't pursue it commercially, you'll be able to take better shots of moments in your life and places in your world, things that you miss it. And that's very worthwhile. The experience you've got, you can't buy with money. You know. You've got to experience and learn to do it yourselves, and you've all achieved that. And um, you've been an absolute super year, actually. And um, it's uh, been a pleasure to work with you all. I hope to see you maybe in press, maybe in the magazines, maybe about Edinburgh. And if you make a lot of money, don't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> the word bum, don't let it, don't let it go across your mind. You know, only kidding. Um, so thanks very much. I'll pass Jennifer on for a word to you now. I just want to say congratulations. You're all a bunch of superstars. If you just look at the work that you produced this year, what nobody can see is all the work that was done behind the scenes as well. Every Thursday, hours and hours, researching, writing, getting all your written work in, and you've just been incredible. Um, when Susan and I kind of interviewed way back in January, I think a lot of you were very nervous, a wee bit shy about your photography skills, your IT skills. And week by week, just to watch that confidence blossom has been absolutely wonderful and the reason that we love to do this job. And I just think you're amazing. And there's quite a lot of these pictures I'd like to take home with me, so um, we can chat about that later. That would be super. Um, congratulations, everybody, and enjoy your moment because this is all about you. This is your day. Uh, so thank you for all your hard work.